Hello everybody, this is Psycho Ento. I never did um, a video today on a PS4 because I, I, having a break from PS4 today, and I thought I still want to do YouTube, so let's have another play of um, Five Nights at Dissidia. Uh, I'll put Omnia. But if I just looked at it, I just did this video because a little test to see if my voice is working. But if you press this, like the little, like sorry, you didn't see that. It was like a page with a pen on it. You've got editing. Screw that, I ain't editing nothing. <laughs> anyway, um, let, uh, let us get on with this game. I think I've pressed the wrong button. Oh well. Is it going off? No. Uh, I have to admit, I do have two accounts on this game. Um, so I'm going to use my second account today. It's not as high at all like my main account, but that's what main accounts actually mean. It may sound quiet. It, I'm not going to title this late night one because it's only like 11 minutes past 11 here in UK time I still have to talk quiet but I'm not going to classify this as a late night um, thing my late night streams are usually early hours in the morning but of course this ain't a stream it's a video how are you all doing by the way right first of all I'm not going to do this at the end, let's do this now. I'm going to show you my um, friend support and uh, ID so you can add me. Oh, that's, that's not it. Right. User data, that's it. So here we are. Um, my ID is uh, PsychoAnto. Um, my other account is called PsychoAnto Returns. Um, I'm using Renoa. I'll show you what she's got. She hasn't got her ultimate weapon. I'm working towards getting that. But we've got all that. We've got um, passive, all, all that. But I'll tell you this now, okay. This uh, account, Renoa, has, um, as it says, my Renoa attacks all with wings. So if you activate her wings, she will, and you do a normal uh, HP attack, she would actually attack everyone. Um, but you have to activate her wings first. A lot of um, people on here haven't got the skill, of, like the um, the CP skill equipped to do that. I have, so yeah. Let's get on with this. I don't, really, don't understand know why the sound really isn't working on this today, but oh well. Right, we're on actually on chapter four. Oh yeah, if you want to see what I what this uh, app is, it's called Screen uh, Screen Recorder or whatever. Um, you type in Screen Recorder, you see this little picture. It looks like PewDiePie's bro fist, <laughs> I call it. Um, so we're on the. Oh, I am on the verge of getting Panello from uh, Five Fantasy Thirteen. No, Twelve. I never hundred percent played a lot of Five Fantasy Twelve. I have played and completed quite a few times its sequel on um, on a DS, the original DS. Right, so we got have Van in our team if we want to get this, uh, which is yeah. Oh, right, okay. Oh, okay. Van. Right now, this is actually my main um, players. However, I am actually going to change that. I've got a cloud with his uh, sword max giving him a really good boost. Varn really good. I haven't got him really good with uh, skills or anything yet. But I'm going to change him to Renoa. Because as it's a support uh, character, I need to get her highest. And she has an awesome skill. So I want to get that of a boost for others who use it. Uh, support. We're going to have her. Right, let's move that down a bit. Now, I will add demonstrate use her wing. She's not going to attack yet. It's going to attack in the next round. Oh, she's attacked. Then when you use the, the second from top, she, you can see she only attacks one because there's only one enemy. 
and you've got a wing shield, use that for three times. But of course, uh, if you add me and I didn't add you, um, she will only have three turns anyway. So go that. You may attack that, but there, she's got him as well. You may see it first, will say it's attacking one, but it actually attacks the other as well. You just don't see that because the camera's on the one. I didn't even have to use a friend support for that. Oh, she's actually got up level, cool. You know what, I'm actually going to move that over here. I think that's best. I should have done that in the last uh, game of this, video of this, because I kept on moving it about when I have to press things. But it's always, we usually press things on the uh, right side of the screen. So now we've got Penelo going to party and sort out some gear for her. Well, we've only got this, this um, level three star little knife. And of course, um, we haven't got too many good gear. I think the shield will probably be best. Even though that's rubbish. What about that? Yeah, that, um, that's better. But that, no, we'll go for that. And she has no uh, thing yet. But we'll actually go to enchantment. Go to crystal strength. Let's see if I've got, yeah, I've got 28. So I've got a few, go to Penelo. I've got a few um, things I can boost her with. A few crystals to boost her, a few things. Right. Uh, oh, I've got one just for him. I need two crystals for that. When he gets to uh, strength level 5, you start needing 5 of the little crystals. Oh, we've got loads of green ones. What can we use for green? Right, I'm um, going to give Seth off a boost. Yeah, see, I'll use it and I'll start to use the, the, these, no, no, sorry, these crystals. Yeah, when you get uh, past level 20, it, you, you will learn he's a second attack, and then you have to start using the second load of crystals, and then them, and when you get past level 50, you then uh, start using these. Crystal strength 50, not uh, level 50. And we got one for him, okay. Uh, so now, I need to go to party. Go on to Penelo and equip some uh, passive... Oh, she only got one that she could passive ability. Sephiroth, has he got in a... Yep. Now... That actually boosts up his uh, second attack thing. I never got that second attack on the other account yet. But I did actually show that off when I was using uh, a support for him. Right, okay. No, I'm not finished. Enchantment. Uh, oh, hang on that. No, okay. want to go down to the axe and just give that a little boost yeah two star weapons at the beginning you he's a uh, he's necessary because some you may get a character who you haven't got a weapon for and the two stars could cover that for now it's better than not having any so we're going to power up Penelo's three stars I'm actually oh right, okay I can only go up that but I want to save this I want to build the, the silver thing up a bit before I use it Now, two star shields. Now, I'll be honest with you, armor isn't a priority for two stars or anything because anyone can equip any armor. It's not like weapons where certain people can equip certain weapons. So, uh, let's look and see where Penelo's uh, armor is. That's here. Oh, it's only still level 10, but oh, well, we'll build it up a bit more. There we go.
right here we go start let's go to the next uh, thing. Uh, so we, we're not forced to use anyone so I'm gonna use no back a bit um, uh, where can I, where are they I might have already passed them obviously I have so I'm going back again ah uh, that's it that's this group but I'm gonna add Penelo to give her a bit of a boost I'll be honest with you, the best way to level up your characters is to use the, um, go to an event and use a daily crystal event. Yeah, you get crystals for that, but it's really, really awesome to leveling up characters. And also, that's the only way you can actually grind, properly grind, for, um, I'll show you, I'm going to show you now. Encha go to enchantment. you got this level up. And you've got chocobo wings that you can use to level up characters like uh, without grinding for them. So uh, the best way to actually grind for chocobo rings is the uh, event. You go to event, uh, I'll show you Panetto, and you can use whatever. Of course the top one won't give you too much. Go straight up to level 12 of course, but then sort of like... But if you um, use a middle one, you go straight up to 22. Use a silver one. Go straight up to 31, so yeah. Um, you can get the Chocobo wings by and by doing a daily a daily quest. Daily quests give you wings, Chocobo wings, and also events as well. Um, but, uh, let's see, go to quest. No, yeah, go to quests, okay. If this is how you farm for Chocobo wings, you go out of here, of course. You go on to uh, this thing. You go to events. You go right down, and you got these, okay? Uh, today's one is the green crystal, but you, this is the only way you can actually farm for chocobo wings. Okay. <clears throat> I'll be honest with you, I get stages where I can't be asked to level up characters, so I use chocobo wings. At the moment, I'm not in that stage, so I'm not using any chocobo wings. I like to boost them up myself. But there is stages where I don't want to use them, so I'll save them, the wings up for when I get to stages like that. <clears throat> right. I'm going to have this middle muck fucker. Yeah, Paneno's really not good at the moment, especially with her weapon. The bronze weapons are, no matter if they're level 2 or 3, really crap. Silver weapons are not 100% good, but when you get to gold weapons, yeah, the big increase in strength between gold and silver is a big gap. Oh, oh, oh I had to actually break their attack or whatever. Oh, well, she's gone straight up to level 6. Every 5 levels, they will learn a passive skill. I mean, I've ranked up. Now this is one thing I didn't explain in the last uh, episode that um, your account can level up this thing here can level up and how you do that is by leveling up your characters when you get I mean at the lower stages yeah you, you only takes a few level ups on characters to level up your uh, account rank but you get to a certain stage where you have to actually level up 10 levels on a character only yeah, you don't increase. I haven't seen it increase on my other account. I'm like level 300 and something, and it will go up where every character goes up a 10 levels. Uh, right. I'm actually gonna do that again to make it complete, not clear. If you complete all the the things, you'll get a nice bonus at the end. Or if you don't complete them, just do clear. You won't get the nice bonus. However, getting them all, not getting them all complete, you can still proceed with the game. It's just, if you get them all complete, you will get a nice bonus. So we're going to do this one again. He said I had to break some. You know what? I actually feel like I can explain this battle thing now. Like last time, I couldn't explain it. You got on there 300 and something, right? Attack, but BRV, which I don't want to say, bravery. You will uh, drain that down, and it will add up here, okay? So if I drain that, that 200 will go up for whatever attack you do. That's what the attacks are. She don't attack a lot, 
so she won't change that but that added on to her now you use these to actually drain their HP now if you drain that to zero right you would get what was up here what up here the drain bonus okay break bonus you're breaking their attacks so if he was to attack now to use a HP attack he would do zero damage so like when you break if I break this guy that's I would get all that plus that and but that thing up here actually splits into everyone okay the main that the character who breaks it don't get all that that actually splits into everyone and then and then but of course you've got a certain amount that you can get up to so if your weapon's strong um, you can break more of this uh, attack to add to your attack okay and when it's shining purple it means you can actually kill them right okay so I'm going to use that. Of course, that actually made it go up a bit. Now it's zero. Okay. So they can easy break me now. I'm vulnerable to be broke, and they will add a lot of this to it. There are actually some quests that actually say that that tell you that don't get your character's um, bravery broken. Okay. There you go. I actually I actually found that easier to explain than I thought. Oh yeah, and over time it will the bravery will come back. Sometimes you can actually break them, and your bravery don't actually come back. You know, this is depends how hard and what skills you're using. Right, okay. Of course, we got regain. Now regain would give a loads of bravery points to everyone, and they will actually regain HP when they um. When, yeah, that's not a bravery a regain, that's HP regain. Yeah, you do have some skills that will regain bravery. I was going to just call them bravery, it might not be called that. Uh, of course, he can't kill that because he's not flashing. And you can see, look, that that's, that's my... If I was to use that 954, it would just take all that damage to its little bit. So it's not enough, so I'm going to attack that. And as you say, that's whatever. But that actually does build up. If you keep on using bravery and not attack, and sorry, if you don't break anyone, right, that will actually build up. And we got it. And I didn't even have to use Sephiroth. You know, I, yesterday my autism was really playing up to explain that. I seem to be having a really good day today. Actually, I found out that I do not actually have... Well, he's an autism, but he's actually Asperger's. Anyway, we're going to use this uh, um, booster again, because time ran out. Oh, okay. There we go. There. Now, also I didn't explain that the blue things here mean the prizes will be two crystals, okay? And then the bottom one's always a random. If you've got these little um, greeny, silvery guys... The two is actually gold, and you've got the random at the bottom. If you've got a big gold one, it's always, again, two crystals, but it means the last wave is a boss. Right, so we've got to have Varn in this one again. You are, you stupid. I'll kick your ass with Varn, because... Uh, um, let's find the one, the main one. I've got those of them with Varn in it. I might, I've got to swap things around. Right. Begin. Uh, I don't really want to use Rinoa, Rino, Rinoa or um, Golbez because they are the best in the game so far. So I want to save them for huge emergencies. But I won't actually get to that stage on this uh, account yet. I know she can actually kill that, but I want to activate her wings. And of course, she actually goes straight after as well. And like I said before, oh, was that it? Like I said before, the red is actually means it's going to be stronger than it would be if it was blue. And it is stronger than any blue. And again, I might be wrong with that, who knows? I don't know every single character's... Um, thing oh also the last um the last 
video I made, I was talking about how they have actually made uh, Jekt more stronger. And I was just saying, we know what, and Gold Bears are the best so far. Nah, Jekt is fucking out of this world. He really is. <laughs> right, so this is why we need Varn in again. That's good, because having Varn in a group and Cloud is part of the monthly event quests. And I haven't done that on this one yet. I'm going to have Cloud on here. Right, uh, right, there's only one wave, so what we're going to do, we're going to end this wave right here, right now. Right now. Anytime now. Right, okay. Uh, I'm going to call him and use his ultimate thing, the uh, Meteor Strike, as we saw before. Boom. Alright, I'm going to, I'm going to kind of say that was an exaggeration of right here, right now. <laughs> Of course, the target with those little green, met, uh, little greyish green thing is uh, the point target is always money as well. So yeah, the great little grey thing it mainly is about money, and the boss and the little blue one and the blue ones is mainly all about the uh, rewards is all about the uh, diamonds, which is the uh, currency you can buy real money, and we got a little treasure chest. You can buy with real money, but believe it, this this is not worth it. Then it, like I, I did, I did started saying something before in the last video that um, them giving away more than than uh, you buy, way more. I'm hoping the game can actually keep going because they're just going to lose profit on that. They really are. I mean, I do believe that a lot of people do not spend money on this game. So that means the game might be, have to shut down. I hope it don't. I hope it don't. This game is awesome. Right. Oh, well, we've got a boss, haven't we? And it's an uh, ice turtle. I'm going to get rid of Penelo. She's the weakest in the training room. Uses a... Uh, um, Limit break. Oh right. We all got a um, we all got a team attack thing. This does not use up goes, by the way. Um, I actually don't under I don't know how to get that to work, by the way, or when you I don't know how when you know it's gonna work. It is random. But there are actually some moves like him, him um. Using that limit break did cause a hundred percent that to happen, but randomly for that to happen is random. Oh, Penelope's got level ten. So said, oh, I never equipped a passive thing shed last time, did I? I don't know. Right. Go into Penelope. Uh, no, I didn't. So three hundred more HP, three more max bravery. That means uh, the maximum you can have goes up. The in, the in, intel or whatever, intelligence bravery, that's what you start the match with. You've got attack defense, HP, max CP, which is the uh, um, thing, like max CP points you can use. So, of course, we've got a, six, a 2, a 2, and a 10, so I'm using up 14. I can only go up to uh, 65 at the moment. How you increase the max is to have weapons with these um, gold circles in. And I showed how to get that in the last video. But if I actually get a chance, I'll show you again. I'm not the type of person that uh, wants you to go to me other videos to see the things. That's just like um, begging you to watch me other videos. I'm just not like that. Anyway, uh, if we get a chance, I will show you how to make the... Um, the, the blue things appear and all that. I'll explain all that again when I get it out. Now, now, okay. Right, yeah, they, with that um, thing at the top, what they've done, they've made themselves sort of like, um, kind of like immune to attacks, any attacks, but um, some people can actually um, get that to zero. Now, if you got that to zero, that thing would actually disappear. Oh, let's see if I can show it. No, he missed. 
We got in there, there. It's gone in there. We were going, and that's disappeared. Okay. Bats do drop down anyway, but even in monsters who don't drop down with that, you actually break their um, bravery that are uh, immune to, well, not immune to attack, but very chance that you'll miss with things will actually disappear. So, great haste. Now that makes us a bit faster, which means we'll have more attack, uh, more attacks, yeah. Yay. Right. We got some um, level up, uh, sorry, weapon level up um, materials. Oh, okay, that's uh, a YouTuber, Dunia, the one that's uh, Deji's um, friend and all that. I just got, she's obviously just done a, a video. Right, also, um, what was going to show saying? What was going to show? I don't know. Let's see if I've got any, um, no, I ain't got, never got any weapons or armor in these matches at all, okay. Ah, there's my, there's my girl, um, there's my girl and I can't think of her name, Terra. Yeah, that's the one support woman I use on my other account, my main account. So we got two, um, we got two money ones and one diamond one. Oh yeah, by the way, it's um, it's awesome about these clouds. That means that when you do one of these, uh, the card, so you actually can see where you're going. So, and our aim is to actually uh, get to this. So, if you actually don't know which one you're going to go to that will activate this, look at where the cloud is. So, this one, will, this looks like this one, the bottom one, will, it, will, go, will actually go round here, where this one will go round here. So, it doesn't matter on this one. But if you actually don't, if you actually have a cross turn in and don't know which one it's going to go to, look for the clouds. And if there's like just two clouds left, it means that that's the wrong way, but will lead to a treasure chest, where the right way would have more clouds to go to. Yeah. We're going to go this way, because... Ah, oh, just a bit, stop. Stop, go back. Because it looks like there's a cloud here, so that's going to unlock this. It could be a treasure chest, or a cutscene. Right. Uh, now, I have Penelo. Yeah, I've already got Penelo. Good. Uh, got loads of we know. Alright, let's have a cloud. This guy was on three days ago. Now, let me say this one thing, okay? If you're longer, if you're, if you add me and you're offline longer than two weeks, I'm gonna have to kick you out. Um, I mean, of course, you still have me uh, to uh, support, but I have to kick you out of me supporting you as well, because, um, oh no, only, only if your character. Is not fully upgraded, okay. If you still, if your character's not fully upgraded, and um, you're not bothering playing the game, then you're not going to get it better for me to use when I get further on. And I'll be honest with you, I would hundred percent respect you doing the same if I was off for a long time. But I always, I do, no matter what happens, it could take even take a year, I always come back. Always. When I'm, oh, usually when I'm off something for so long, um, I'm usually, like I said, ill and that. But I always come back, no matter what. That is a vow, and it's always been proven on games. I know not to use, but... Huh. Anyway, um, so this one, I have edge this time. Right, have I got someone with edge in it? If I haven't, I'm gonna have to make one. Right, I, I haven't been focusing what I've just known. Well, it look, looks like I haven't got edge in my team. So let's make a new party. I'm actually gonna change, um, Farn to him, 
Because I haven't got no one with him in it, I don't think. And we know her. I'll try to put his edge. Yeah. Oh yeah, I kept King because King is only in that group as well. Let's go, alright, I'm going to use her now. I've got loads of them and I'm not at the stage yet where I need them for like level 60 or 70 monsters. You shock. Now that's cool. That is a, a bravery attack where HP attack will drain HP. Him, of course. But I'm going to use a bravery HP. Now he's dropped down. He won't. Oh, that's what I wanted to show you. Turns. So it looks like, of course, the first one is um, is a uh, Vincent. Where the next turn will be um, will be Edge, and the next one will be number B, which is him. Now you've got to watch out for these when it comes to um, tasks in the battle to not get broke, okay? So, and also breaking our attack will make them drop down one. He's already been broken, so I can't drop him down yet. Um, right, Vincent's going to attack him because he's, he does have the lowest HP than the robot. And now the robot's not actually going to have a go because he's stunned. Some monsters get stunned or drop I won't get up for a while. Edge next, so do a. That didn't kill him, but we got King to do that. Oh, King is, uh, I believe, he's off of Final Fantasy Type Zero. Never played that game. Also, I want to say that they don't only add Final Fantasy from 0 to, uh, to 15. They also add Final Fantasies from other Final Fan characters from other Final Fantasy games. You've got Yuri and Chilinka from Final Fantasy Ring of Fate, which is only available on a DS. Yeah. So I really, really hope that they could bring my favourite Final Fantasy game that I've ever played, even though I don't play it much now, but it's got a huge impact on my childhood. Final Fantasy Adventure. That is actually the very first uh, game of the Mana series. I don't know if you ever know about the Mana series. You've got the first... There's it's three games in the Mana series. You've got the number one, Final Fantasy Adventure. My absolute favourite. I ho really hope they bring characters of that in here. You've got the second one, Secret of Mana. And you've got the third one... Oh, wait, we need Edge again. You've got the third one called Trials of Mana. And they're all se well, practically all sequels, yeah. They might not actually have the same characters you control, but it's still the story of the manor is all sequels. Right. Okay. Take him down before he uses um, his uh, thing that uh, boosts... Yeah, now he's going to drop, okay. We don't have to worry about number B for a while, so we drop him. And you see, look, that A went down one. He's going to get up in three turns, so we will take him out. And then he's not going to get up for a while, so we got we can take him out. Oh, that was it, okay. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting to look at how many waves we've got. I like, I usually, usually summon um, the support on the last wave. Yeah, usually the last wave is the hardest, even though it's not hard for me at all. At the moment, because I'm very high level for my chapter, I've been doing a lot of um, of the crystal things. We got another money one. Now, hang about, we've got a treasure chest here, so yeah, that's gonna go all the, that one. Sorry, the bottom one, blue guy, is gonna go all the way up here. This guy was actually leading to this with a treasure, and we got one. That I believe that will link that together. Right, now, who do we need? Here? We need Penelo again. Also, if what I have said you do not understand, um, let me know, and I will do a video with all the things that I've that you do that none of you understand that I've said in the daytime, so I can talk louder and you can understand you more. Right now, he's actually going to go for a full HP attack using those numbers. Him isn't really is well. I'm gonna just see if that can get him because that got him last time, though. No. So what we want to do, we do want to break his thing. 
There you go. And he too is a stunned person. He will break you in the bones. Uh, uh, right, I'm going to take him out. This is a normal HP attack. I don't need to use that. Okay, he's done that. It's not a lot of damage at all, so. There we go. Now he's broken, okay. Oh, and that was that as well. Yeah, chapter 4, whatever, is really easy. It's when you get to, like, chapter 5, it starts to get a little bit harder, not too much. Um, and then the, the hardest, I tell you, the hardest is chapter bloody 13. Yeah. Chapter 13 is the final chapter of Act 1 on here. The monsters are, like, level, I think it's, level, like, level 70 uh, monsters or on there. And the boss of that, yeah, boss of that is big. Go to Act 2, it goes kind of back down to easy, very easy. But if, um, right, I'm actually going to go on one of these a minute. So I'll go to this, I want to explain, say, I'm not going to say what the last boss of this is, no spoilers. But you see, the last boss of this one, um, the level difficulty is 15. Okay, go back. And you've got a, now got a choice of hard and easy mode, where it all resets, you would get brand new stuff and all that. But on the last boss of here, the actual target is level 40. Yeah. So when you um, do level 13 on hard, you're going to have like the, like the level of 150 or something. Because on the Act 2, I'm going to actually show you the map of Act 2. Yeah, that's with uh, a new update. They've now updated the game and added Act 2, Chapter 2. But um, Act 2, if I go on here, oh, oh, I've got to download this bit. It doesn't take too long at all. I'm surprised I'm able to go to Act 2 before starting Act 1 <laughs> of Chapter 2. Of Act, no, sorry, Chapter 1. In, right, I'm going to fucking sharp. <laughs> Right, let's just get this cutscene over, dog. So I want to show you the level uh, difficulty on it, and I will actually I know the level difficulty if you do it on hard mode. Okay, we got a little cutscene. Give me some more uh, crystals. There we go. So yeah, um, get this. You see, the level difficulty is only level 5, okay? If you did it on hard mode, that would be 120. And I'll be honest with you, the game is... We are not actually hard enough for the max the level cap to do that on hard mode yet. Believe it, don't care how strong and good your weapons that are. We are not hard enough in levels. We can still do it. Because when you actually die, you can spend 100 crystals to revive yourself. And you could just keep on doing that. But believe it, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Use those crystals for pack openings. Weapon pack openings. Because there is a new thing now. A new thing that weapon pack openings do. I'm actually going to explain to you. I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to explain to you. You've got the Lulu pack where you've got a chance of getting our ultimate weapon Jack and Jack's ultimate weapon. And you have a chance of getting a, a gold weapon for Waka. This is a new thing that they've done in a pack opening. I haven't got, I haven't got, um, no, hang on, I'm actually going to do this. I might show you, I've got tickets, that's a single draw, okay? So if I actually manage to get a Lulu weapon, a Waka weapon, or a Jet, it's got to be gold, okay? It's got to be a gold weapon. If I actually get a chance of getting one of them, I won't just get the gold weapon. I will actually get the character, yeah. So when events, when events that you've missed, okay, events that you've missed to get a character, you actually now don't 100% have to wait for the event to actually come again. Because once you get the gold weapon in this pack, you will unlock that character. Yeah, I think that's awesome. And of course, um, you've got your event packs, which you can get the character anyway. I'm not 100% sure, but let me check something. Nah, um, of course the uh, Renoa event's now gone, which means the um, 
pack opening's gone. Do not worry, because every week you get you get a story um, draw. Okay, that's the weekly draw, and it could give you. Uh, it could have a, a chance of getting another stuff in. Yeah, you can get anyone's stuff in that. It's just these are more chances of getting that. But in the day, in the draw, you've got a, a story draw, which is the uh, every week. You do have a chance of getting anyone's weapon. So, of course, the Renoa event's now finished. If you didn't get Renoa, go into story draw. Use the multi thing, because you're 100% guarantee of gold. And you might get Renoa's weapon to unlock Renoa herself. Or... Like me, I'm trying to do now. I've got tickets, gold tickets. You you don't have a high chance of getting a gold weapon with tickets or any single draw. But if you do, you will unlock that character if you've not got it. But I will say, it really doesn't take long at all to build up to 5,000 di uh, diamonds to get a multi-draw. It really don't. I mean, look, I actually started on this when I only had about 3,000 diamonds, didn't I? I've only done a few diamond events and already got 4,120. 4, 4, and we're not seem to be getting any gold, but we're carrying... Oh, I'm going to go that down to 40. We've got four more chances. Right, okay, here is what I'm going to do, okay, I'm going to carry on this video, I've got about two hours uh, to do this stream, not stream, video, oh, wait a minute, we've got a, a mission complete, it, oh, we, it's, a, it's a monthly event, or is it one of the rookie events to start with, no, we had to use Kane, we got 500, that's really good going towards what I'm going to aim for, and to be Echo, Echo, I call it Echo, and of course we get a row, so we get another hundred. So yeah, we're really close now to what I want to show you. So I'm not going to just stop this video because we're getting near an hour. We're going to have a goal today, just like what I did in my Resident Evil 1. My Resident Evil 0. So yeah, we'll go back to doing some of the uh, story mode on chapter 4. No, that's wrong. We have to go back in here. That's it. Go back to Act One. There is actually a game, another Final Fantasy game called um, Final Fantasy Mobius. I think that's awesome as well. Um, that game is more, more like yeah, uh, to more to pay for diamond. I mean, the diamonds on there are only for mainly for really nothing really. <laughs> Um, but um, you, they don't give away more than you buy. But diamonds on that game really isn't, uh, really isn't a necessary to be honest. So we're going to use Sephiroth. Here. We've got two waves. So you use Sephiroth in the last wave. I, I have to admit, I did not see what the uh, conditions were to do on here. If the bottom one was to be a certain character. Oh, gold. Oh, he managed it. Yeah, when they've got an A on, on there, look, she looked, oh, I forgot to mention her. She's got a picture of Eco, number three, which calls number three Eco here, which means that person's going to attack Eco when its turn comes. So that's an also thing you want to watch out for when you're having your thing broke and all that. So, uh, of course, we don't have to worry about it on here. Those things usually only affect... Um, what that was it? Um, hard mode. On hard mode, all the all the quests uh, or stop um, things on hard mode require you not to have your da uh, damage broke. And it also applies to uh, World of Illusions, which is a uh, thing you upgrade your summonings with. You use that for. All right, Sephiroth managed to get both. Well, get that one that was hard to hit. 
Okay, cool. The only thing with Sephiroth's, um, oh, it was to break the people, the monsters thing twice. I only did it once. The only thing with Sephiroth's um, limit break is it doesn't break any of the uh, enemy's um, bravery, sadly. It will drain it to zero, but it won't actually break it. Now, this person's added me back. He hasn't been on for 27 um, days, okay? No, 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 no. This is another thing that I've made a rule with. He's not been on for 27 days. His character's not fully upgraded, but I'm not going to... Um, no, I actually forgot to mention this. I'm not going to uh, defriend him because he's added me back. Okay, so no matter what, how strong he is, I can actually use him five times. And it is really disrespectful for if the person came back and I'm gone, and he's added me and I'm gone. So yeah, you don't worry about that if you add me, okay? If you add me, you're there for good because I'm definitely adding you back. Yeah, so I actually forgot, I forgot about that. Oh, I'm going for it now. Look, I've got a C, which he's C. It means he's going to use his thing. So is he, but we're going to use his uh, limit break. And he actually does all that twice. Renoa. Now, I'm going to say this now. The Renoa's limit break is the best, okay? Golbez um, did like 5,000 damage twice to everyone. Renoa's limit break, if, it's, if her weapon's fully, it will do like 10 thousand or maybe in twenty thousand to everyone three times and it automatically activates her wings as well. Ah, looks like uh um terror still down. What happened to her? I I, I don't know what happened to her because I don't read the story mode. I will be honest with you, reading story mode with me, I only read it if necessary. Okay, only if necessary, or if something really catches my eye. I did read the whole story on the uh, Lost Chapters of um, Seymour. Oh, also, this thing, okay? If it's below a minute and seconds start coming, don't go into battle, because uh, usually it will take you more than a minute to do a battle. Um, it won't, um, and when that rolls to zero and you're still in a battle, it won't... Um, you won't get the, the benefit of it. But, however, if it's a, a minute and not on the seconds, and you're in a battle when it runs down, you will get the benefit. So, yeah, when it starts going to seconds, do not activate a, a mission yet until that's gone down. If you're like me, I constantly use um, boosters. So if you're like me and do that, do that as well, um, yeah, don't start a map battle when it got the seconds. But we've got a boss here. Anything else over in that? We've got a boss here. Now, it's level 13, and I only have to use two people. Right, uh, also, I do want to check something. Uh, right, it's the uh, missions. I believe I did this before in the last video. Personal missions, which means um, your monthly things. Um, then, right. Uh, have Varn... I have Jack. I've not got Jack. Jack is way, way like chapter ten or something. But I can actually get Jack if I um get his weapon, which I'm going to do one um quite soon. Maybe today, tonight, or tomorrow, on my own. So the only person I actually need to put him to fight with mainly is Van. So we're having this. Okay. Oh look, we've like we got three more people I've added left, and then I have to add, use add some others. As you can see, I've mainly been using my main account. I've had this account for a few months. Unlike my main account that I've had for a year. But I've mainly really focused on that. And my main account. I haven't really on this one. Right. Uh, I'm going to ignore that one for now. And just get rid of these others. Then focus on him. Because if I focus on that. On that bat. Sorry, get it right. On that bat. Uh, I'm going to miss and he's going to hurt and the other's going to attack. Right. 
Now I'm going to focus on him. Really, I don't want to um, just go to clean attacks and that. Knock him down first. He's a bit more of a pleasure. <laughs> there we go. Now we've got a boss. And he's a zoo. Right, I do need to fight a certain amount of these for my daily quests. I'm going to change my Renoa into the support Renoa. Now watch her limit break. You saw Golbez, watch hers. 2,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000. One it. All dead. Yeah. On my main account, last night, I actually did get Renoa's ultimate weapon as well. So, if any of you uh, that, have, that have added me, now this is for future, okay, this is for the future when people start watching me properly. If you have added me and you do not want, to, you do not like my support that I'm using now, because I will be using that support for a long time, my uh, terror. And we got, oh, wait, wait, we got terror now. And you really want, don't want terror and you want my Renoa or whatever, let me know and I'll put it on there for you. Right, now we've got our target, so what I'm going to go is just miss this. Right, now the weapon draw, you will get some something to do with these three. You won't get any other characters, okay, in these event draws. However, it doesn't mean you will actually get their ultimate weapon. You may just get a regular gold weapon for any of these. Either way, I'm hoping that I will going to unlock Jet, okay, for my, um, for my, um, monthly quest so here we go yes please and of course we get these little crystals now it looks like we only got um what is it um lulu but as you see because i haven't got lulu i've got a weapon i actually um and i've ranked up okay i've actually um got her now it's not her ultimate weapon. Remember I said it goes with a blue, a blue lighty. You know it says it's light in the middle, but it has to be a ring of blue to know it's her ultimate weapon. That's not her ultimate weapon. However, it's a gold. It's Lulu. I've got now got Lulu. I can get Lulu in her event anyway. I'm still not complaining. Because I do really love that system. Right, quests. No, not quest, because I'm going to end it soon. So, right. right. Party. Focus, Psycho Enzo. Lulu. Dull. Yay. Now, Bangle. Uh, oh, I've got, I've got all these two, actually, do not I? I was going to show you how to... Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm not ending the video yet. So, what can I equip? Let's you... Um, let's use that. No, I'm not going to use that because I've got an helmet. But who's that helmet? If you hold the, down the button, it's for Yuri from um, Final Fantasy um, Crystal Chronicles. No, Crystal Chronicles, not Ring of Fate. So I'm not getting Yuri to about chapter 11, I think. Way ahead, so I could get Lulu with that. So I hit that button. Again, I did show you this on the last video, but I do not expect you to click on it to watch it. That's why I'm going to show you now what the uh, upgrading those little diet circle things were. So, um, do I have any of them going? Yeah, I've got that one going. So, go to my level 3 sword. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Now you see it's got one little circle. If you go to confirm and you see two of the same weapon, it adds another circle, which it will increase your max CP. That weapon will hold six CP, but breaking limit break thing, um, it breaks its uh, level limit and everything. It will act CP will now for that weapon will go up to eight. And of course, you equip another one, and it was going to three. It will actually make it go up to ten. That weapon. And of course the level cap it can raise. It will raise up to five. The three star maximum um, as as it starts off. 
three star weapon level maximum is 15 okay and you if you use three of the same weapon it will go up to the maximum of its level 20 uh, will be um 25 and with uh, four star silver it will be 20 gold then 25 it will go up to 35 all that <sighs> When you get to this sort of stage, you want to um, raise um, weapons. Like um, you don't want to use um, weapons for um, materials because when you get to sort of this stage, certain people can't equip all your weapons. So the level two gear and level three gear will come in handy for that sort of thing. Stars, not levels, so. though. Do I have any of them? No. Uh, oh, we got right. Also, if you actually do have the full, the full many stars on um on a a three or a three or two stars, maybe even four, you still want to use them as material. Um. Maybe not as much with the level 4. Um, but with the gold, okay, with the gold, you do not want to use that as material at all. If you've got the max thing, the max level, or max of those crystal things on gold, sell them. Sell them, okay. Um, I ain't got nothing to show you to sell them. To show you that's that is on the other video. I'm sad to say you, you do have to go on that to watch that because I haven't got any more gold weapons to show you how that works. But uh, hi, okay. If on gold, right, you actually have this thing called limit break option where you got these things. You need four of these to um to to add one of these things. So gold weapons are actually rare. So if you can't manage to get hold of the same gold weapon, especially if it's an ultimate, uh, sorry, an ultimate weapon, you want to use four of these to give it a, uh, um, a, a, a increase, right? Easiest way to get these is to sell gold weapons, and only do that. Sell gold weapons if you are just focusing on one uh, character with his weapon or something. But if you like me, focusing on everyone. Um, and uh, the and the full um, of these, or maybe if you've got someone's ultimate weapon, and um, and you get another gold weapon for that character, and you don't want to use it, yes, yeah, sell it, okay? Because you will get um, one of these, just one for selling each gold, okay? However, if um if um a gold weapon has all three of these. Uh, holes and you sell it you will get four straight away four because yeah that's how that works you can actually get those green those um sorry what was it um those limit break orbs by um i'm going to show you in a minute if i can get there by spending uh, they didn't see me click on that sorry of this spending 900 of these you only get to do one a month. These restock every month. Okay, only one, but it costs 900 of them. Um, how you get them is by missions, daily quests. You get them by doing the last of the daily quests. Now, daily quests are always um, just to finish. The first two is to just complete one level of anything. Two, complete two level of anything. Complete three level. And then you've got the last one, complete four level. Well, no, no, five, uh, five quests. Here we go. That's what he says. I wasn't reading that. Yeah, yeah. Complete five quests. There we go. Um, you can also get that these, um, when you do the event, uh, so I'm going to go quests, events, now, when you do any of these, okay, mainly the co-op ones, okay, you will get these tokens, okay. Um, yeah, if you do co-op with people, you will get way loads of tokens. You go to token exchange. Um, you got the Renoa tokens left still. To, you 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 got two days to use up your your Renoa tokens. Um, and you got yeah, you go to exchange. 
and you can um, buy a hundred of these uh, things for five gold tokens or another hundred of 50 uh, silver tokens yeah that's how you get that those tokens the only ways however I'm just going to quickly do something the red sword tokens are guaranteed to give you a red weapon of your choice a gold weapon of your choice <laughs> Um, which of course I'm going to get terrors. There we go. The red, the red um, tokens are really hard. To, of these things are really hard to get. Um, what should I say? Uh, there are actually a few, only a few ways to get them. Um, one by logging in for seven days. On the seventh day, day, you only get three tokens, or you get you do get like five or six, or I forgot how many. Uh, but you do get a lot of red tokens if you complete all of the of a page of these quests. This is actually. Um, Quests that never expire, okay, and you turn over tutorial missions. Yeah, you got your, your choose your expert, but they go across to July first summer. Got four days if left. If you complete all of them, you will get uh, about five red tokens, okay, and of course you'll get five red tokens of doing the tutorial ones. <sighs> I'm starting to really run out of voice. I've kept on for a whole hour, just over a whole hour. Well. Uh, but the, the the tokens for armor, which is this one, you get a lot of. You easy get them. You easy get a lot of them for missions and doing a mission events where you know, we can't really see them now. I think there you got you got five to get there. Um, but I don't know if you saw a token exchange. Go to well, we'll go to we know for a minute. Um, you got you got there yeah, you got no you got two stocks of that you got five stocks of that three stocks of that all that yeah you got loads of them to get you can get those really easy have the red tokens are actually harder to get looks like that's it everyone I've really overdone myself on talking today take care peace and chicken grease I really hope this video works out and goes through because I don't wanna um don't want this to ruin.